Hi and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Here I'm going to talk about the uh, virtual instrument Avenger. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, always helps, likes and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's jump straight in. So here I've inserted a Avenger here and let's open it up. So what I've done is I've uh, gone through some of these presets here, got like a bank here and then you've got in each bank you've got presets like chords, drums, you've got drum loops, uh, drum individual sounds. What I've done is uploaded a sequence from the sequence bank and I've uploaded a the funk the sequence funk master and made a sequence here as you can see I've got a sequence going on just two notes basically and uh, I'll play these, you can hear this. So you can hear if I hit a note, it will just play out the sequence. You can change the, the key of the sequence. And here you have like a sound, a violin sound, which is pretty cool. And uh, so this, um, this synth is pretty powerful. Um, I bought it for half price. Uh, I can't remember where, but it was like about 200 euros. And I got it for 100 euros. So I snapped it up um, and I've been using it. It's got some really, really top quality sounds. And uh, I'll be, I use a lot of the bass sounds and some of the sequence drums and stuff. So what I'll do is if I like a, like here I've got the um, sequence funk master. If I like the, the drum sound, I'll export the drum sound. So to go over it quite quickly i won't go in depth because there's a lot of tutorials out there of how this synth actually works but i just want to show you some tricks that i use so like say this sequence i've got a sequence plan i can then export the parts that i want so like if i want to listen to the bass on its own i can go here see this part here there's a mixer so like if i want to listen to the bass here or the road sound, or this brass sound, guitar, and then you've got strings here, and then of course you've got drums. Now the drums here on this mixer are just a stereo output of the drums. If you want to export individual parts of the drums, go here, as you can see, and and you can also mute and solo it up here, as you can see, which is pretty practical if you're not in the actual mixer at that time. But here, for example, I want the bass drum. Or just uh, the snare, just the snare on its own. Then all I have to do there is just export it. So so that is really, really cool. Now, you've got all these functions that go with it as well. It's, it's crazy that what you can do uh, with the synthesized parts here, uh, you can you can change the sound of of each uh, part and uh, each synthesizer part, and you got um, this LFO section here. Uh, I won't go into it because it's quite full on and complex. You have got four amps here, um, you know, the bass, uh, for example. You got on this bass sound here. You can see that I can um, if I just go back to uh, the drums and unsolo that. So. So if we go bass here, as I sold it here. Now here, look, I can. But that seems to be the uh, note that I'm playing there. You can transpose it, change the uh, level. You can uh, put effects on here. Here we have the cut off. Play around with that. So it's, it's really, really um, profound. Uh, so I go back to the solo here. As you can see here, you've got the effects here. For example, here you can go out effects two. Then you've got a, like a list of effects that are in that uh, effects there. Here you can see I have different things that I can take out as well different or I can hear them go in to actual like play with the time pre-delay and stuff like that all the uh, the actual perimeters of the actual um, 
effects itself. Uh, so you can see it's pretty full on. Um, now, if I go back to here and say I, I'm happy with this, I really like this drum sound, for example. For example, let's go to the drums and then I just solo the drum. Okay, now if I just close that, you can see I've got the drum sequence here. So I'd name this Avenger. So I want to export the uh, bass drum. I'll just go um, bounce in place. Okay, and then I'll just name it kick. Leave that on, leave. Don't need to mute it because I want to use it for other stuff. So then it just, uh, I'll export the kick now. And then I'll have the kick on its own here. So now I've got a kick. And I can export all, all that whole drum pattern individually. It's what I do quite often because I, I, I really like the sounds out of this uh, out of this synth. They're really, really good. So, you know, now I can expect the hi-hat, etc. you know, the bass on its own and then have the whole sequence exported on its own if I want to. Or I can just uh, make up my own bass part and play the bass myself. There's some really great sounds in here as well, like example... The, this one here it sounds really cool like now if you play this you can hear like if I play this bass sound here on the keyboard the velocity so make I can go a really good slap sound here so stuff like that it's got some great guitars in it as well in the multi loops you have like some pretty cool guitars that um, this one here, for example. So here, if I bring these up a bit. You can load up, um, obviously you can hear the effects on there. So there's a choice of... Uh, See here you've got the waveform and then all the effects and stuff that are on here and you can play with the filters and the amps and you know the attack and sustain and I mean you go forever with this thing it's fantastic so yeah I really really recommend the Avenger uh, the synth that I bought not so long ago and um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and I will see you soon ciao <laughs>